Hey Sag, what is up, what is up, and welcome to your mid-September love reading. This is for my gorgeous sun, moon, rising, and Venus. If you're new, hello, my name is Svetlana. Go ahead, subscribe. We have fun here. We shenan, but most importantly, we heal, we nurture ourselves so we can shine our love and light onto others and make their love and light shine because guess what happens when everyone's operating from their higher self the consciousness of the, 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 the consciousness of the collective shifts and we live in a more giving more loving more grateful accepting all the goodness world and if you're returning i love you i appreciate you so much thank you thank you thank you for your support all right so that's about it let's go Sagittarius, what do we need to know? My fire sign. I think I'm a Sagittarius in Saturn. Good stuff. Let's go. King of Cups. Okay. Okay, Mr. Emotional. Beautiful. Your challenge is the Page of Wands. We got the devil here. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. I'm not going <laughs> to jump on you on that right away. Ten of Wands. Beautiful. Nine of Wands in the past, gorgeous. You're finally, you're coming out of my cage. I was doing just fine. And that's exactly what you're doing. Past nine, and now we're going to the tenor and we're releasing the weight, the burdens that you've been carrying. And we're walking away from something gorgeous. Eight of Cups. Oh, look what we're going towards. Two of Cups. That's why you're in the King of Cups. We got Ace of Swords. Beautiful. We got a King of Swords, and we got Four of Swords. Could be dealing with an air sign, um, uh, Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. Masculine energy. I mean, don't we both have masculine and feminine energies? So, um, yeah, let's not get attached to that silliness. Let's go. Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Love. Love offers. Let's see what this Page of Wands is for your challenge. Page of Wands. Please. Thank you. Oh, you want to build something new. Page of Pentacles. King. Yo. Three kings on deck. Ten of Pentacles. Could be dealing with an earth sign. Virgo. Taurus. Capricorn. Look at this. Be you guys, if this is not stability, I really don't know what is. Page of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. There's a new be uh, beginning here. There's a new journey you're going on and you are excited you're in the kid childlike energy here this is beautiful even though there's a lot of kings right this masculine this very mature kind of i'm feeling you going about it though in a very playful way and that that is how life is intended to be because when we're doing something playful right out of a goodness out of the high vibrations this is what we tend to manifest, the Ten of Pentacles, right? This is gorgeous. Ah, we do have the Queen, so we have a counterpart here, King and Queen. All right, let's see what this Two of Cups is connected to. The Two of Cups. Five of Cups, beautiful. Uh, we got a uh, Empress. And we have forward movement. We're no longer, we're done. A lot of you could have been stagnant looking at the past. Spending, it, spending a lot of times on the game we don't play here. Could have, should have, would have. Being guarded, right? Due to whatever perspired. But guess what? You're like, I want to fly. I want to, oh my God, you see the bird? I want to release, what did I start singing? I said, coming out of my cage. I want to soar. And there you are. An Aquari uh, Aquarius. <gasps> Could be dealing with an Aquarius. I don't even see Aquarius. Oh no, we did, we did. The King of Swords could be dealing with an Aquarius. But you want to soar, right? You want to soar, you want to break free. I want to break free. And you have your eyes on the prize. I don't know who this, um, this is the first time in an energy, <laughs> who this uh, Taurus Libra Empress is. But look at this, it's a connection. This is gorgeous. You're You're going towards, you're being pulled towards something here. Let's see what the Ten of Wands. What are you releasing? What's the Ten of Wands? Oh my God. We got uh, the Hangman. Pisces. We got... 
nine of pentacles you're opening up you're opening up do you see how she, you're stable you're a stable uh, squirrel here but do you see how she's kind of like not bored but like un unsatisfied and she's like where's love because this is material right and this is heart space this is emotions this is depth this is all the goodness and a lot of you are shifting your perspective on that it could be on relationships it could be on um the way you express feel love the way you do things something here you are releasing you're realizing whatever has been you've been holding on has been keeping you stagnant in that cage going back to that metaphor that i'm gonna probably say a million times right but you're releasing that you're opening up and once again going back to this garden you see how she kind of built a wall around her garden i think you're breaking down that wall literally you're breaking it down and you're going i'm gonna let others in and i'm gonna go let my i'm gonna allow th thank you universe i'm gonna allow whatever it is that needs to come in I'm going to allow it. And if I need to go, I'm going to allow myself to do. You're allowing yourself to flow, to experience life. This is beautiful. What's the devil, though? What's the devil, please? What's the devil? Could be dealing with a Capricorn, a lot of earth here. What's the devil? What's the devil, please? Game real. Thank you. Two of Pentacles. Indecisiveness. Ooh, okay. The moon. Four of uh, Pentacles. Thank you. Wow. Wow. No wonder that I didn't want to come out. Um, Nine of Wands. A lot of you, different journey. Remember, general reading. A lot of you are still very, very attached to your ego or to your old ways of doing. And you're still very, very ground uh, grounded. A lot of you need to get grounded. A lot of you are still very guarded. And you're not allowing anything in. Look at this. This is more Capricorn energy. Devil and Four of Pentacles. You are... This is Four of Pentacles. This is being greedy with your energy. Not allowing anything to give out or come back in. There is really... You need to release something. You see, you're juggling. You're still... Your mind is somewhere else. You're not being in the now. Um... And this is making it very hard for you to go towards what it is you want. It's your, 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 thank you. You're blocking yourself. You're blocking yourself. Please, please, please take a look at what your routines are, what your thought um, processes. This is why Four of Swords is here. You have to meditate. You have to take a time out. You're, some of you are on autopilot in this uh, toxic energy of greed, of being very closed off of um whatever it is i a lot of you need to uh address that in order to start flowing to shift your perspective and to walk towards this beautiful connection you guys with the ten of pentacles it's like you want it but you're restricting yourself and you might not even know it because it's subconscious you guys the moon is here that's the subconscious you're like svetlana but i'm so open Two nine of uh, ones. This is closed off. This is not even a cage anymore. This is like a fortress. This is uh, the Great Wall of China. This is. I mean, I could keep going. You know, I could. This is why meditation is so so beneficial to us, you guys, because subconsciously we might not know what it is with the plot uh, the blockages within ourselves, but once we start doing that in our work, that's when things get back into flow right get back into magic a lot of you are still living in the past that's very that's toxic that's uh insanity as eckhart totally says right remember all we have is now let's see the eight of cups please eight of cups for my sag you have clarity coming in and you have to be open to it clarity can come in if you're closed off I think your crown chakra needs to be uh, open. Eight of cups, please. What did I... What a, clarity is trying to come in? But here you are looking at the dust bunnies in this cup. Get Ask yourself. Do I want to look at dust bunnies? Or do I want new passionate, passionate new beginning? With victory. I'm done. 
and a counterpart. You guys, full circle, baby. Empress and an emperor in a union, in a gorge coming together. But you can only attract this, dear souls, once you go within into your subconscious, clear out the blockage, clear out the muck, release, let go, shift your perspective, get on that high vibration to call them in. And they're not in this cup with the dust bunnies. I can tell you that the emperor or the empress does not mess around. They're not going could have, should have, would have. Oh, would have does that and that. There's there's no doubt. We are releasing doubt and we're releasing fear to your souls. Look, where there is not a. Have you ever talked to an emperor and empress that were like, mm, I don't know, maybe no. We are not. There is only victory ahead. Look at this. Clarity twice, by the way, you guys. And what do I say? Where do we find clarity? In silence. Meditate. Med. You guys, I can't stress it enough. If you want different results, we need to do, start doing different actions. If you're sitting there going, Svetlana, I've never meditated. I can't. Oh, dear soul. Yeah, you can. Give it a minute. I Give it a couple of seconds. One. What is it? The journey uh, starts with a single step. And meditation starts with a single uh, <laughs> second minute. Why don't we push ourselves to do new things, right? King of Swords, please. What's what's the King of Swords in your hopes and fears? King of Swords. Gorgeous reading, though. Beautiful. King of Swords, please. King of Swords. Thank you. Queen of Swords. Six of Cups. Seven of Swords. All right. If you're if you're focused on the past, still Six of Cups here, and the lying, the cheat, whatever perspired, whatever negativity is attached here, we are cutting it out so fast, you guys. We are going, doesn't serve us anymore, cutting it out. Oh, is this keeping me stuck? Cut it out. Is this attached? Is this seven of swords, self-deceptive self thoughts about nostalgia? Is this serving me? It's not. Cut it, it out. We're, we're, look how much, you guys, this king of swords, he possesses all this wisdom that's trying to come in to help you move forward, to help you cut karmic ties, to help you cut cut your uh, cut these chains open to set yourself free because remember you have this knowledge already inside of you you just need to tap into it no one's going to come along and give you these swords of wisdom right of this is why our self-reflection and going within to your subconscious is crucial here so uh, do you <laughs> a lot of ask yourself in this video do you want this ace of sword you gotta grasp it you gotta go within you guys this is beautiful I hope this helped. If it did, if it resonated, uh, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much. Best of luck. Namaste.